so another thing as a TI don't go to whatever you fucking do do not go to a psychologist for help they're in on this they will diagnose you with some shit like paranoid schizophrenia do not I say again do not tell your doctor do not tell a psychologist what you're going through they they will diagnose you don't get me wrong there's numerous reports on it so if you're new to this program do do not go to your psychologist or doctor they will just diagnose you with a mental illness so yeah yeah it's not it's not a good idea so um yeah this will just be it's getting long this video but yeah this is just like a survival guide and this is part like i said this is part one but before before i end this I'll, i'm gonna get into one last thing and that's um setups so one thing this is the final thing probably i'll get into so one thing the perps will do is they will try to coerce you into negative situations where you can either get arrested or look like a bad person so then they can e more easily smear you for instance um let me think of one example well with me what they do they will try to provoke me to the point of laying my hands on them that's one thing they were doing for a while they would they would have people smile at me and smirk at me so they would smirk at me in a kind of <laughs> look at you you know kind of way so i didn't realize what was going on but one time i proper lost it you know what i mean and i, I kind of told him to fuck off and you know i didn't hit him but i could tell they got what they wanted because they kept doing it so i started seeing the pattern again that it kept happening so one one time i just went up to him and said what was your man smiling at and what they do is they act like nothing happened. So he, because what happened was I was walking past some people, and he just said, "Can I have a cigarette, mate?" I was like, "No, nah, I don't smoke." So after I carried on walking, I turned around and I see his friend looking at me, and he's smirking. So I just went back and asked what he was smirking about, and I just said, "Have you got a problem with me or something?" And he said, "No, nah, I only wanted to ask for a cigarette." You know, this is what they do. They just start normal and all the whole time they were doing that they had one hand in the pocket so this is the sensitization again and they're just letting me know the perps so after that they stopped but as soon as i did that i heard sirens in the background and that's deliberate that's just timing that's just timing what they do they time things like that but it's important to know to as in a psychological program, you only react physically if you feel like your life's under threat. If you feel like they're going to attack you or try to injure you, you're in your right to attack them. But what I do now is if the kind of... I mean, some people may find this disgusting, but I find it helps. But if they're fucking with you, like smiling at you, you know, I just spit at the ground as I walk past them. That's what I do. Because that, that's just me letting them know what I think of them. So I, I just spit at the ground or I'll flag them off. But I won't go up to the face and flag them off. I'll put two fingers to my nose and I'll make sure they see that and then keep walking. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing the similar shit they're doing to me, but I'm doing it back to them. And that, that helps to neutralise the effect their targeting has. And it's also an outlet. If you like me and you have to get someone back for what they're doing to you, which is how I am, I've always been like that. I can't help it. For anyone that says I should change, I can't help it. I just do that. So if someone's pissed you off, a perp's pissed you off, you can piss them off by doing similar shit back. So... Yeah, they, they were one time I had I filmed it. I had this motherfucker come up to me, so I go, Yeah, yeah, like, like that. It's, it's in my video called Gang Stalker Pretense. 
<clears throat> pretends to be crazy, but he just came up to me going, Yow, yow, like that. I was like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing, man? So I just get my camera out, and this motherfucker, before he, he did that, he started smirking at me. Again, it's the smirk, and that's just to let you know it's done to you, but no pretend to be crazy. So I just go up to this motherfucker with a camera, and I just, I just say something like, why are you making that noise? And he just keeps doing it, going, Low, low. So, I say, why are you doing that? And he just says, are you filming me? Like that. I said, yeah, because you're acting weird. And then he, he just comes towards me in like a friend of me. So I'm like, don't come near me, man. Don't, and that's what I mean. You stand your ground as a TI. If they start doing shit like that, then you say, don't come near me. And if they try and lay a hand on you, then you've got every right to defend yourself. But what they were trying to do is they wanted me to uh, hit this person or, uh, you know, do something to this person. Because as soon about he got on his bus and about a minute after he did, a police car came up the road. Right, so, you know, I had a similar thing happen when I was on holiday in Scarborough. I uh, was on the pier, or not pier, but like a marina wall. And then this motherfucker just came by the side of me, saying some crazy shit and talking real loud. So I ignored him, but I kind of went, mm, fucking hell, you know, like that. Then after that, um, he just looked at me and said, fuck you, like that on a whisper. So I said, what the fuck did you say, motherfucker, you faggot? What did you say? Like staring at him, and then he just looked away. So I'm like, oh, fucking coward. So I just kept walking. But about a minute after that happened, a police van went across on the road. So again, they wanted me to lay hands on him. They wanted me to do that so that I could be arrested. And th this is what they do. This is what they do all the time to TIs. They try to get you, if they can't get you institutionalised by the go to your doctor or therapist and say what's happening trick, they, they will try to get you arrested or put you in dangerous situations. You see, it's all it's all hypnotism and smoke and mirrors. They will make you do to yourself what they want to do to you. Do you see where I'm coming from? But, yeah, it's important to remember that. And it's important to have a long fuse. I mean, I had a short fuse in the past, but you got to have a... You got to think about it before you act. You got to think: Is this clown really threatening me, or is he trying to make me do something? And you'll see if a clown, if a motherfucker's really backing what he's gonna do, because you can just tell. So if a motherfucker's smirking at you, and then you just target him back with some shit you do, and he looks shook or he looks confused, you you know they're not down with that shit, and you know they're fucked up. So. It's all smoke and mirrors what they do. Well, apart from the energy weapons, but I'm not. I'm not going to get into that this time. That's a, that's for another video. But um, but yeah, this will probably be in three or four parts because it's it's gone way over what I thought it'd be. But I I hope this uh, video helps targeted individuals that are just getting into this program, just been put into this, and don't. Let anyone fool you. This is a government run program. This is run in all the Western NATO countries and elsewhere too. And this is this has been sanctioned from high up. And this is a covert destruction program. They can't go around shoot someone once said to me, Why don't well, if you got anything to worry about the government, why don't they just shoot you? Well, I said, well, they can't just go around shooting hundreds of thousands of people without anything happening back. Because if they do that, then there's going to be a, another 2011, and the people are just going to go nuts. They're going to burn this motherfucker down and start, you know, juking cops up. So what they'll do, they'll, if they can't, they can't get away with killing you with physical weapons, so... They will try to get you to kill yourself in psychological manners. They will try to gradually destroy you as a target. Do you see where I'm coming from? Because they they can't 
it's not they can't do what the yet anyway they can't do what the Germans did and just take you to the camp and chuck you in the shower they 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 can they're doing basically they're doing everything they can to destroy those they don't like and get away with it for the meantime they have to abide by their own system so they can't just murk you and then just you know because people are going to know what's happening and if the government if people know the government are doing it then you know it's not gonna there's gonna be it's gonna be chaos if they're just killing innocent people it's gonna be chaos isn't it? it's just gonna be riots there's gonna be terrorist attacks well freedom fire attacks I'd call it because they're fighting the government you know it, this is a covert thing so I, I hope that uh, makes it clear for anyone that's being targeted you know what is going on and hopefully uh clears your mind to uh, what the perpetrators of this program are doing all right let's say so this is part one of the survival manual that i'm making so part two will be maintaining and defenses so defenses are important psychological and physical defenses are important okay all right god bless all right stay strong yeah